if you look at the chemical ingredients of life itself, uh, you remember from biology class, we're mostly water. And good old water is H2O. Two hydrogens, one oxygen. And if you could look at the sort of the element budget of life, hydrogen is number one, as expressed in the water molecule. The number two in the human body is oxygen, turns out. Number three in the human body is carbon. Four is nitrogen. Five, you find on all lists, is other. Okay, <laughs> now if you go to the universe, <laughs> That's the O on the periodic table. You didn't know that? <laughs> <laughs> That's not for oxygen, it's for other. Um, so, you go into the universe, number one ingredient in the universe is hydrogen. That was true in life. Number two ingredient in the universe is helium. We don't have that yeah, one. Yeah, it doesn't, no. doesn't like it. No, how come? Well, because helium is chemically inert. You can't do anything with it even if you want to. No, you can inhale it. Okay. And sound like Mickey Mouse, yes. Next in the universe is oxygen. Next, carbon. Next, other. Thank you, in the third <laughs> row there. So, actually that was the second row. They must be related to the second row here. We are one for one matchup with the most abundant ingredients in the universe. Of these, carbon is the most chemically fertile element in the entire periodic table. You can make more kinds of molecules with carbon than all other molecules combined. So, if you were going to experiment through the forces of nature with complex chemistry, and you had to pick an element to base it on, carbon is your man, or your woman, however that goes. Okay, so, what I'm saying is, Given the, given the, what carbon is capable of doing, perhaps we shouldn't be so surprised that there's life because we are carbon-based life. We're just another one of the things carbon has rolled up its sleeve. Maybe life is inevitable given the abundance of carbon and oxygen and nitrogen and hydrogen in the universe. I'm gonna try to invert that view. Otherwise, you're left thinking, hey, we're special. You know how, you know I would give you right to say you're special? If life on Earth were made of an isotope of bismuth. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff is nowhere in the, in the cosmos. <laughs> and then we're made of it, we're special. <laughs> okay, but if we're the most common ingredients of the ingredients of the, of the matter that we know and love, you don't have an argument.